and the woman from Access called and she was asking me questions and she said, are you homeless? And I was like, uh, I don't know what that means. And she says, well, let me give you the definition. You don't have a permanent residence. And I'm sitting here going, yeah, I guess I'm homeless. And that's when it really hit me of what just happened. They advised him that his office was going to close. We thought we would be able to surpass it, and we didn't know how long it was going to last. It lasted for four years. My dad helped us get the house that we were in for 15 years, and he passed away right after we lost the house, so that was like one of the memories that I had to, you know, deal that we disappointed. <laughs> Excuse me, him because of it. I saw every portion of my family being torn apart, you know, emotionally, physically, financially. And just seeing my mom and dad hurt, they had some hard conversations with us that no parent should have to come talk to their children about. We went to Christian Help and they treated us with respect and they showed us that there was help out there and they gave my husband this box of food. He came in with this food and he literally was crying that you could get this kind of help. It took away that burden to worrying about food that we could focus on our kids and that we could focus on finding work. Hunger doesn't choose, you know, a select type of person. Everybody is one incident away from needing West. My husband used to say, a hand up. That's what Second Harvest is there to do for us. They evaluated him and said, you know, Judy, it's going to be maybe a week or two, but just get everything together. And he overheard it. And I went in there and he goes, you know, he says, I can't die right now because I have too much to do. And I says, well, whatever you got to do, you better do it quick and say what you have to say. And he goes, you know what? He says, don't worry. I know you're going to be OK. I know you're strong. He goes, and despite all that, he goes, I know you have second harvest. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he goes, you know, he goes, I know they'll be there for you and the kids. He goes, so I don't have to worry. And I said, yeah, well, don't worry. We'll always have food on the table. And he goes, yeah. He goes, I know you won't. He says, you won't have to worry. That's why what I do today, um, I'm so passionate about because I've been on both sides of the counter. You've made a difference. You have lifted up my family. You have given me the opportunity where I'm at today. You have made my son a stronger man. You have made my daughter a really great mom. You have provided food for our table and gave us a safe haven. So I have to say from the bottom of my heart and from my family, thank you. <laughs>